You fought the rest? Now try the best! Whenever I see a roster prediction from another member of the Tekken community, you guys know I love to give my takes hot or cold and just talk about it. This time's no different. We have a 12 character prediction from Tekken Gamer. Tekken Gamer is a very good source of information. So this 12 character prediction is coming from a very respectable source, The Ogre. He has to make an appearance because he was the whole reason that Jun Kazama disappeared. Without Ogre, the whole entire Tekken universe looks different. So if you want to reintroduce Jun Kazama, you have to explain where she went missing. And that starts with Ogre. But being a whole playable character, I just disagree with that because I think Ogre is special as well as Angel is special. And those characters Characters should be held higher than just an average Tekken character. That's just my opinion. Harong. In the article, they talk about how Harong is connected to the Mishima Zaibatsu, Jin's rival. And uh, short and sweet, I think Harong is probably going to be one of the next characters to be shown off. I would not be surprised if his trailer is next. Yoshimitsu. Tekken Gamer also points out that they have a long standing history with the Mishima Zaibatsu, the tie in with Soul Calibur, you have Brian Fury, you have Kunimitsu, you have so much with Yoshimitsu that they can tie him into, but also in terms of story, they have unlimited potential with him. Whatever they want to do, Yoshimitsu can fulfill that role. Bob Burgers. That is in the stage, just like Leroy Smith's statue, just like Violet Systems posters. I think every character who has something in the stage that we can see definitely in the game. It's no question about it. I wouldn't be surprised if Alyssa Harang and Lei Shao Kahn are the three characters they show off next. Her involvement in the story is just as important as Lars. And I think it will be interesting to see what this character does next. What they could do with like her heat system is have like her be like a normal character, like just normal Alyssa. And then when she goes activate heats, she turns it to battle mode. Kind of like Kazuya has like Kazuya and then his heat is basically Devil Kazuya, Eddie Gordo. Now the conversation between Eddie Gordo and Christine will never end even when one of those characters is put into Tekken 8. But just like Yoshimitsu, Eddie Gordo is super iconic. Lucky Chloe is a character that's divided in like and dislike. That's what Harada said. I think there's value in everyone hating a character. Hate is a strong emotion. And there's certain characters on the roster that we have no emotion to. So having a character that everyone hates, a character that's a villain, and then also tie that character to the villain, Kazuya, that is a very powerful thing. And I think if they play their cards right, and if they do the story right, and also if they balance the character right, Lucky Chloe could be something special. I often forget about Steve Fox when I'm listing out my name of characters who should be there, but Steve Fox is a character who should not miss. He's confirmed. I don't need to see a trailer. I don't need to see anything. Steve Fox is there. Here's an idea that I had with Anna and Nina Williams, but I don't know how good this idea is now that Anna Williams killed her husband. I feel like that's something that can't be undone, but if we take that out of the equation, I think it would have been really cool to see Anna Williams and Nina Nina Williams work together. I think back to Tekken Tag Tournament 2, they had the cutscene where Nina's like, you wanna work together? Grab her hand, twist her hand, as in throw her at the enemy. Seeing this kind of dynamic between the two sisters can be really cool because yes, they still hate each other, but Kazuya is paying them a lot of money to work together. Like think about it, what if Anna Williams and Nina Williams go to save Steve Fox? Steve Fox get captured, you know, G Corporation want to finish the experiment that they started and both Anna Williams and Nina Williams is like, nope, we can't allow that. Something, you know, something. I don't have to say anything about Brian Fury. I don't need to see a trailer. I don't need to see anything. This guy, Brian Fury, is already confirmed in the game, playable. His heat system's amazing. This guy's amazing. Brian Fury is like one of the faces of, out of the new generation of characters, Brian Fury is the face. If you go back to the past games, it's Paul Phoenix, Kazuya, and Yoshimitsu, and also Eddie. But the new generation, Brian Fury dominates. There's a building that says Great Gecko on it, and a lot of people are connecting the Great Gecko to Alex. I believe if they did a season five for Tekken 7, Bruce and Alex was the two characters who was up next. His gameplay is different, but also I feel like his connection to G Corporation cannot be understated. In Tekken 2, I have a story, you can pause and read this, but it is said that Alex in Tekken 2, he's like a child dinosaur. And it says in a couple of years, he will become one of the strongest and most powerful creatures on the planet. 
I feel like seeing that transformation in Tekken 8 would be mind blowing. Maybe you could have like an Alex Jr. That would be really cool for like a playable character. And then you have like the actual Alex is like a sub boss of sort. I think Tekken 8 is the perfect game to showcase why Kazuya Mishima sunk all this time and effort into having Alex, a dinosaur, resurrected. The final character is Dr. Boskinovich. This is the only one that I disagree with. I do not want Dr. Boskinovich in the game and a lot of that is because of how he played in Tekken Tag Tournament 2. You guys think Yoshimitsu is a unpredictable, unstoppable force of nature? Play against the Dr. Boskinovich on Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Gameplay wise, this character is atrocious. When we release Kunimitsu, Dr. Boskinovich, Jun Kazama, and Gan, I received a ton of negative feedback. And the reason why I say if he's alive is because the official Tekken Twitter confirmed that he's dead. There's another tweet here from Harada that everyone points back to and say, how is he dead if he created the battle suit that Yoshimitsu is wearing? It would be different if the time span between the games was like greater, but all of these games literally takes place in the same years. But in this video, I just want to talk about these 12 characters and give my ideas on top of the Tekken Gamers ideas. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.